Lesson 4.2b, Proportional Relationships. So we're going to review these words quickly. A proportion, that's a statement that two rates or ratios are equivalent. Two miles to one hour is equal to four miles to two hours. They're in proportion to each other. A proportional relationship, that's a relationship between two quantities in which the ratio of one quantity to the other quantity is constant. We'll talk about this. I'll show you. A rate of change, that's a rate that describes how one quantity changes in relation to another quantity. So let's completely understand this. This is a proportion. Two miles in one hour is equal to four miles in two hours. We doubled the two miles to be four, and we doubled the one to be a two. See? They're in proportion to each other. And if you remember from my previous video, if we do two times two, that's going to equal four. And if we do one times four, that's going to equal four. And we have the same numerator and denominator, so we know they're in proportion. A proportional relationship is if we do two divided by one, we get a two. And if we do four divided by two, we get a two. The miles divided by the hours is constant. See, they're both two. The constant the rate of change is 2 miles per hour. So this is what I was saying. If we cross multiply and the product is equal to 1, they're proportional. We cross multiplied and did 2 times 2, which is 4, and 1 times 4 is 4. We have the same numerator and denominator. We know it's proportional. In a proportional relationship, the rate of change is constant. It stays the same. Proportional relationships are often described using words such as for each or per. The rate, 60 miles over one hour, can be described as 60 miles for each hour or 60 miles per hour. If a car travels at a constant of 60 miles per hour, here's the abbreviation MPH for miles per hour, it will travel 120 miles in two hours and 180 miles in three hours. It's going 60 miles for each hour. That's 60 miles per hour. Sam earns money by mowing lawns. Based on the table is the relationship between the amount Sam earns and the number of lawns he mows a proportional relationship. We need the number of lawns to be the denominator for the rate. We write the rate, so we put the amount earned on top. We're going to flip these around. So now we've got the $25 earned on top for one lawn. 25 divided by 1 is 25. If he does two lawns, he makes $50. We write the $50 on top and the number of lawns on the bottom, and 50 divided by 2 is also 25. And if he does three lawns, it's $75. We do the division, that's $25. And if he does four lawns, it's $100. 100 divided by four is also 25. We compare the rates, $25, 25, 25, 25. And we can see they're all equivalent. They're the same. This means the rate is constant. So the relationship is proportional. Sam charges the same amount per lawn, $25. Dave shovels snow to make money in the winter. Based on the table is the relationship between the amount Dave earns and the number of homeowners that hire him to shovel snow, a proportional relationship. He earns $20 for shoveling one home. He earns $40 for shoveling two homes, $60 for three, $80 for four, $100 for five. I purposely chose easy easy numbers here, so you could probably do mental math and say, yeah, they're all the same. We do the amount earned over the homes shoveled, so we have a unit rate of $20 for one, that's $20, and $40 divided by two, that's $20, $60 divided by three, that's $20, and we get $20 and $20. So comparing the rates, we see they're the same, they're constant. It's a constant $20 every time he shovels a the snow at a home. The relationship is proportional because they're all $20. The constant rate of change is $20 per home shoveled. 
Here we have a table. It says number of bracelets sold, and that goes one, two, three, four, five, and total money earned in dollars. We can see it's $15, 25, 40, 50, 70. So Sarah makes bracelets to sell at a craft fair. The table shows the number of bracelets she sells and the total she earned for selling them. When she sold one bracelet, she had $15. When she sold two bracelets, she now had $25. When she sold three, she had $40. Well, if we do 15 divided by one, flipping these around, so that they're a unit rate for $15 for one, that's $15. But look what happens when she sells two, it's $25. Well, then the rate is $12.50. And when she sold three bracelets for a total of $40, that was $13.33 when we do 40 divided by three. And for $50 divided by 4 for this one, we get $12.50. And for $70 divided by 5, we get $14. The rates vary. We went $15, $12.50, $13.33. They're changing. The rates vary, so this is not a proportional relationship. The bracelets must sell for different prices. Maybe she has a bracelet, a type of bracelet that sells for $15 and another type of bracelet that sells for 10 So when she sold two of them, she only had $25. See? So the bracelets must be different prices because this is not proportional. If a rate stays the same over time, it's a constant. It's a value that does not change. In a proportional relationship, the change from one rate is equivalent, or in proportion, to another rate. We finished 4.2b. We're going to move on to the last part of the lesson, writing an equation for a proportional relationship. So remember, find the unit rate and do division. Do 20 divided by 1, 40 divided by 2, or whatever the numbers are, and find out if the rate of change is the same. If it is the same, then it's a proportional relationship. If it's not the same, like Sarah's bracelets, then it's not a proportional relationship. You can also do my cross multiplication thing of doing multiply the numerator by the denominator and then multiply this denominator by that numerator to see if they get the same numerator and denominator as a product. And if it does have the same numerator and denominator so that the product equals 1, they are proportional. I hope the rest of your day is enjoyable, and I hope you join me for the last part of this lesson. Bye!